going to talk to Sprocket in two seconds, but we are at the Lockheed Martin booth. Obviously, a huge presence here in Colorado. I want to introduce you to Sprocket. Hi, Sprocket. Hi. How are you? Hi, thank you. Tell us a little bit about briefly what Lockheed Martin is doing right now. Well, we're here to highlight some of our programs and capabilities, like satellites, including GPS-3, space flight, featuring Orion work, payloads and instruments that fly on space exploration missions. Okay, thank you very much. We're going to come back to you in just a minute. You're, she's going to do a SIG out for us, but right now we want to go to Edgar Johansson with the Colorado Space Business Roundtable. Tell me what that is, and then also the whole economic impact here in Colorado. Well, thank you so much for having us. And one, I want to acknowledge the Space Foundation who hosts the National Space Symposium every year. The Colorado Space Business Roundtable is a, uh, an, a, an association that works with all the small and medium sized companies as well as our primes here in Colorado. We represent about 400 space companies in the state. Uh, we do an average of 20% <clears throat> increase over the past decade in the industry itself. It represents jobs. from Fort Collins all the way down here to Colorado Springs, Braxton Technologies to Lockheed Martin. Uh, we have a great support from our legislative group at the State House as well as our, our Right here in Colorado Springs, Space Foundation's headquartered here, uh, Space Business Roundtables. This is our 20th year. All right, so glad you're with us today. And we're going to go back over to Sprocket real quick. Sprocket, I keep wanting to call her Sprocket, Greg. All right, you're going to sing us out. Say, toss it back to Nine News. Okay, I'm Sprocket reporting. Back to you, Nine News Denver. Yeah, that's very good. I think she's got a future. <laughs> Thank you. Nine News, everywhere.